Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a daily vlog. The sun is doing really weird things. Um, let me turn this off. That's really, really loud. I decided I had to film today because, number one, I'm getting my hair done, and you guys know I love the before and after drama of getting my hair done. But So I am driving one of my son's cars that used to be my mother-in-law's car and now is my son's car and is like one million years old. I'm grateful to have the vehicle to get to my hair appointment. Let's just go. Okay, so I kind of want to apologize to this car. <laughs> it's a Buick Lucerne, I remembered that. And the other thing I remembered, so this was my car for probably three years, I guess, when we first moved here. And, uh, well, I guess like the last year we were in Texas and then the first two years we were here. And this is the car I used to drive to work every day. And I forgot, it's a really fun car to drive. Like I have a Subaru Outback and I love my Outback. Sorry, if you're not interested in cars at all, you can just forward through this part. Um, my Subaru Outback is a great car. I love my Subaru. However, it doesn't really have a lot of like oomph to it. And this Buick Lucerne, I forget what the engine is that it has. It has some kind of engine that's like a way better engine than you would think. And um, it was really fun to drive here. So yeah, that was fun. That was fun. And and I apologize. Yes, this, there is a rip in the seats and, and yes, it has definitely seen better days. Um, but yeah, I had a good time driving here. So thank you. Okay, so I got my hair done and now I am gonna go do some shopping. Um, it's still a little damp, but it's, I like in the sunlight because you can see my colorist is a friggin' genius. I think she might be, I don't know, some kind of witch, but I don't even care because I get to benefit from it. Just FaceTimed Will all the way from England and um, got an invitation to go to the Cotswolds for Christmas, but thankfully he is coming home to his mama. He said he didn't say yes because he knew I would be so sad and I would cry and he is correct. I've got the Peloton church right behind me. And uh, I'm gonna go walk around. I think I'm gonna go into Williams and Sonoma because they always have super fun stuff and see um, what I can find. It is a spectacular day here today. So I may end up hanging out at the Avalon for just, just a little while. Last year I I made this recipe last night. It's a gingerbread recipe and you can also roll them in sugar before you bake them. Well, let me show you how soft these are. Can you even with that? It will definitely put the recipe down below. They are so delicious. I think the reason I love those so much is it's so hard to find a gingerbread recipe that stays soft. Usually I find if it's like a ginger snap recipe, it doesn't, it doesn't, hey Maxie, Hey baby, um, it doesn't stay soft, especially like the next day. And these have stayed, oh my God, so stinking good. These are definitely going on the list for Christmas. Okay, so I'm now officially heading out for a walk. One of my strategies for dealing with the um, fact that it gets uh, dark so soon is that I have to get sunlight when the sun is out. I'm, I feel really lucky that we live in Atlanta because most days we do have sunshine. We don't have a lot of rainy, gloomy days, which I think would just push me over the edge. So just enjoying a beautiful day and soaking up some vitamin D. I don't normally film in my um, kitchen because, well, I do some but there's always so many people around. So right now there happens to be no one here. I've made myself a little grilled cheese and some grapes. Kitchen's kind of a mess, just ignore all of that. So I wanted to hop on 
during this vlog and talk for a minute about why I'm not currently posting on Instagram. And it kind of goes back to when I watched that movie, The Social Dilemma, that we all saw whenever it came out a year ago, two years ago. Does time matter? No. And I uh, was struggling with like the targeted advertising piece of it, the algorithm piece of it. Not so much for me personally with like the self-esteem part, although I know that's huge, especially for a lot of young Instagram people. Moreover, just for the kind of just, I, I wasn't feeling good about it. I felt like with Instagram, I was giving it a lot of my time and it wasn't giving me anything back. I um, am not really that into selling on Instagram. I don't have a business where I sell a product. And if you do, then that's obviously a completely different animal. And I looked at my analytics and although I do get some watch time from Instagram, in my view, from terms of return on investment, which anytime we're making a business decision, we wanna make it on return on investment, Instagram was not giving me what I was putting into it. So I've got it on pause. That doesn't mean that I won't come back to it at some point, but for now, I will not be posting on Instagram. Um, I may still post video links on Facebook. I haven't really decided on that, but I certainly won't be interacting at all, either on Facebook or on Instagram. And honestly, I have to tell you guys, that was another piece of it that was getting very fatiguing for me. Getting DMs on Instagram through Facebook through Twitter, on my regular email, answering comments. It's too many funnels for me to manage. And eliminating the Instagram and Facebook situation has just made me feel so much more at peace. So I think I'm not gonna do it. We'll see, I'm not ready to like, I'm not deleting my accounts. I'm not ready to say I'm never gonna be on the platforms again. But for now, where I'm sitting today, I was feeling very chaotic in my own brain and not doing those things is helping me feel less chaotic. So yeah. So if you follow me over there and a couple of you reached out and said you miss me over there and I appreciate that, just make sure you're always coming back here because I am not leaving YouTube. No intention to leave YouTube. I love YouTube. And um, yeah, I'm going to eat my grilled cheese. <laughs> Okay, I'm back in the kitchen and now I am gonna be doing some editing. I filmed a great video. <laughs> it's confidence for you. I filmed it. I haven't edited it or anything yet, but I hope that it's a great video um, about sailing Disney solo on the Disney Dream. So I'll put a link to that up here if you guys um, are interested in that. And um, now I'm gonna edit. Um, I have my afternoon Diet Coke in front of me because that's another one of my strategies for getting through the dark months is I must, must have afternoon caffeine. I might even also have a cup of tea. We'll see. If, if it's really cold, I'll usually do tea. And if it's nice and warm like today, then I will do um, Diet Coke. But i um, gonna try to get the bulk of this video edited uh, so that it can go up on Sunday. So whenever I put up a new video, it, it takes me about, depending on what I'm talking about, it usually takes me a little over an hour to actually film the content. But then of course I have to edit, I have to do something called metadata, which is all like the SEO and behind the scenes stuff. And then of course I have to do a thumbnail. So it really does take a lot of time. So that's gonna be the bulk of my work day today. So yeah, just gonna do some editing. Okay, so it's actually the next day. <laughs> I kind of just stopped filming yesterday. I don't, well, I do know what happened. Scott came home earlier than expected. And um, I, I don't know. I just, I think I forgot I was doing a vlog. So we're going to pick up again today, um, which is fine because we just decided we're going to go up towards Dahlonega and see if we can catch some fall color. And I'm really excited to get that for you guys. So yesterday we had some shopping going on. Today we have some nature going on. So all things that I love. And I just have dinner in the crock pot and I'm gonna show that to you, hold on. I should have shown you when I was making this, but I'll link, um, I made this same recipe in a video um, last Christmas, I think, but it's basically just a beef stew. It's just a beef that I browned with some seasoning salt on it, carrots and potatoes and beef broth and some tomato paste. So it couldn't be easier. And we're gonna go for our drive and this will be ready. Now I'm a vegetarian, so this will be my dinner. 
<laughs> I'll have a baked potato and then I'll make a big salad to go with it. And I got some really good um, just sliced Italian bread. So yeah, easy dinner and I'm super excited to have it done. That's my favorite thing about my crock pot. These two are very interested in smelling what's going on in the crock pot, right, Walter? Yeah, they, they smell, poor things. It's kind of torturous for dogs because they're gonna smell it all day. Look at all of the leaves, you guys. <laughs> this is insane. The wind is kind of blowing. Clearly I need to get out here with the leaf blower, but this is, uh, this is bad. This is, by the way, uh, one day's worth. So, you know. A lot of leaves falling off of those trees. I don't know how much fall color we're going to see up near Dahlonega because we're already losing almost all the leaves. So I don't know. Stay tuned. And quick Max update. This guy, he is uh, just doing okay. We're slowing down quite a bit. We're, we're still going, but we're slowing down. <music> Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of Okay, we just got home. It's already dark, which I am not loving how early it gets dark, but the stew is done, so I'm gonna show it to you guys because it smells amazing. Okay, there we go. And I'll put a little thing on the bottom to see if it actually tastes as good as it looks. Um, that will be judged by the meat eaters because obviously I don't eat meat. Come up here to my office to finish out this vlog. Um, amazing day. Amazing day yesterday too. Weird that it came in. Okay, hold on, dog wants to come in. Um, I really did intend originally to only have this be um, one day's video and my husband and sons are making noise downstairs. So if you hear noise, it's my family, they live here. Uh, but it kind of worked out great that it ended up being two days because I got to take you guys on that incredible drive through the mountains. So I hope you enjoyed that footage. Uh, it really is true that living just north of Atlanta, we have access to so many beautiful things and it's something that, you know, it's just easy to forget. And honestly, if we hadn't gone this weekend, I feel like we would have missed all of the fall color. So speaking of the end of fall, I want to make sure you guys know I am not doing traditional Vlogmas, but I will be doing two videos a week on this channel. So that's why you're starting to see a little bit of holiday magic in the background. There's an advent calendar. I've got an Elemis one. I've got some chocolate ones. I've got a wine one, which interestingly, I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle that yet if I'm only gonna do them a couple times a week. Um, obviously, they're, they're, it's from Total Wine and More, and you'll see it, but it's like a glass and a half in each one, so I can't do three or four to make up for lost time. So if you have ideas, if you guys want me to like do a, a combination of all of them or just tell you when I do that vlog, how I liked it, I don't know. I'm still thinking that through, uh, but tons of holiday content. We're going to have decorating and baking and wrapping and just all of the fun things. Outings in the Atlanta area. I haven't actually planned all those out yet, but I promise they're coming. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit those bell notifications so you don't miss a thing. And thanks for being with me um, just over the last couple of days. It was really, really fun. So from me, Scooby, you want to come up? Oh, are you going to come all the way up? Oh, okay. This dog doesn't really fit in this chair. Okay, so. <laughs> so for me and Scooby and everybody at my house, um, I hope you're having a great day. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy and I will see you next time.
Want to say bye to everybody, Scooby? I say bye? Say bye. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Bye.